This is Jesse Dickens, Liverpool fighter. Make sure you subscribe to Sport and Icons. So million dollar crawler, Anthony Crawler, has just defeated Edson Ramirez by unanimous decision with three judges scoring it 110 to 91, 110 to 90, and 98 to 92. So there are there about a conclusive victory for Anthony Crawler. Of course, he's used to headlining his own shows, um, especially in Manchester, where beforehand, um, his very last fight, he had a headline bill against Ricky Burns in a very decent fight, and before then, two back-to-back -back losses for the WBA World Lightweight titles against Jorge Linares, where, of course, he lost his title and then didn't successfully get it back, of course. But either way, Edson Ramirez was a very decent opponent. I mean, he didn't come to lay down, that's for sure. Very tough. And, of course, maybe what made it a little bit tougher for Anthony Crawler was the fact that he got a very nasty cut over the top of his right eye, just under his eyebrow, in round number three. And it was bleeding pretty much throughout the rest of the fight. Um, at one point, um, especially round number seven, I thought that they were actually going to stop this fight. But... He did what he had to do. It was pretty convincing, I suppose. Um, not the most stellar performance in the world. I mean, I did feel it was always going to go um, the distance, if you like, because it, it it's Anthony Crawler. You know, he does seem to have lost a little bit of power as of late. But, of course, he is on the rebuild. Um, so that's two back-to-back -back wins now, and hopefully he's going to be looking to get back into the world title mix. And there are some pretty good champions out there. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Anthony Crawler. But either way, he done very, very well. He uh, stayed behind his jab, moved his feet a lot. So he frustrated Ramirez. Now Ramirez, who came into this fight with 18 wins, two losses and one draw. Bearing in mind, those two losses happened in the first of his three fights um, as a pro. So he won his debut, then lost twice back to back. So he's been on a bit of a run, that's for sure. So congratulations to Anthony Crawler in a very, very conclusive victory um, on a stack card for Joshua versus Parker, where so many of big names for us in the UK are all on here. And we still have Ryan Bennett to go, Povetkin versus Price, and of course the main event. And of course, go check out the other videos from the other fights on the undercard as well. Drop your thoughts below if you managed to watch this fight and what do you make of Anthony Crawler? Do you think that he could potentially regain or become a world champion once again at some point? Obviously, he's going to be having a sneaky little look at the winner of Linares and Lomachenko. If it's Lomachenko, not too confident. Linares, I'm okay to see that fight again, but... Either way, time will tell what's going to happen. So congratulations to Anthony Crawler. So far, every single fight on this card has gone the hometown way, shall we say. Um, as in, our guy has won every single time. So congratulations to Anthony Crawler. And for everybody else, please click that thumbs up. Subscribe, of course. And I'll catch you on the next video.